Python offers a lot of possibilities via packages to visualize data in various plots, also interactive plots. Here we will start with a very common plotting package that allows a lot of control over a plot, which is called matplotlib. So first of all, we need some data. So we use pandas here, so we import pandas as pd and then run it. And next we import some data. So these are available in the drive. So I will use this um, mineral data and this my EPEM A data here. So I use um, pd read and one file is an Excel file actually, which is the mineral data file. And then we also use a PDF file. So we read two different file formats. This is a CSV file and it's called my EPMA, EPMA data.csv. And I call the first one here a data frame and this is mindat. Um, yeah, just call it min, more min data. And the second one I call my data. So maybe I want to compare something, then I would have a data file from somewhere in my own data here. So let's have a look whether this worked or whether I get some. Oh, of course, I need the, um, the entire path, which is my drive and then data here. And I just quickly copy this down here. And then I should have both so I don't get an error message, this is fine. I don't need to look into the data files. This is actually rather boring. Now then I want to plot this data with matplotlib, and this is also a library. And this I need to import, which I do up here. So import, and this is called matplotlib, matplotlib, pyplot. And this is quite long. So I do this and I already get a suggestion, so I could also just return and I import as plt. So if I then want to use it, this plt, I can use plt, uh, so I'm using the library, and then I might just want to plot something, so plot, and I might want to plot just as list, so very simple list, one, two, three. And I plot it, I re return it, and Oh, I should run this, of course, um, so that it's also imported, and then I get a very simple plot here, or maybe one, five, three, that's a little bit more interesting, and I get a plot here. So this is at, because it's a line plot, at, and this the first value is one, uh, which is again zero, so it's a zero position, and at the first position then it's five, so this is five, and then it's three. So this is a very simple plot. Um, now, if I want to plot from my data, for example, the magnesium, well, let's briefly show my data. So just get an idea again. Well, actually, only the columns would be sufficient. So I know what the columns and then to list, I would know what um, categories there are. So there's, for example, silicon, magnesium, manganese, and so on. So maybe I want to plot the magnesium here. So what I can then do is um, I want to have the element, and here, although it's an oxide, it doesn't matter, equals, and then from df my data, I extract the magnesium column, run this, and put in here EL for element and run it. And now I'm plotting the magnesium data. So it's quite fine. Apparently these are two different minerals or something like this. Um, so this, this is quite nice. And actually I could just directly copy this in here and this will work again. And maybe I want to have manganese or silicon or something like this. So actually in here, I'm inserting the EL 
and then I assign this variable now mg o for example run it again and this of course will then work again and now I only need to change here the name of the category and I will get magnesium uh, manganese or SiO2 or whatever I want to plot here. So this is how I can very quickly make a simple plot. Now I want to make a scatter plot. So let's go down and make a scatter plot. A scatter plot works like PLT, then scatter, it's exactly the same, and then I need two lists. So here I have one list, so this is the silicon value, so I put this in here, and I call this element 1, and then I have a second list, and this is element 2. So I take two columns out of the pandas data frame here, and of course I need to define EL1 should be, say, MGO, and element 2 shall be SIO2. Needs to be a string, of course. And then I plot this, and I get, apparently these are two different uh, minerals, likely or maybe two populations within a um, rock, something like this. But this is how I can quickly plot exactly this. Now I have always this additional line here and I can suppress this if I put in PLT show and then I will only have the plot here. So that's all very nice. Um, now we want to have maybe also labels because now there are no labels on the axis here. So for this I use another command PLT X label and of course, there's a rich documentation on Matplotlib online on the Matplotlib web page where you can look all this up and most of this you will learn rather quickly after some while. And in here there should be MGO, so I can put in here EL1 because that's an MGO. So I run it. Now the x-axis there's MGO. Now one nice thing is also that you can add another string to this by simply add plus and because this is a string, this is MGO, plus, and so this should be a string, plus, and maybe I put in here weight percent, and let me also copy-paste this for a Y label, it should be element 2, and I run it, and now I have MGO with weight percent, and I maybe want to have a space, so I put in a space here, and then I have a space after the first string, and then I have MMTO versus SI2, and of course if I then make MNO and run it, there will be MNO on the x-axis. So this is how I can quickly plot. Now I might, might want to have a label here as well. So I put in a label, and these are my data. I then need to tell um, Matplotlib that they have a, a, a legend and put in the location of the legend, say lower right, there's some space, run it, and then I have the label here on the down right that this is my data and the elements on the axis. Now I want also to put in the EPM data, the min data, and for this I copy this entire line here, oops, wrong button, paste it in here, and replace this my data by min data by min data copy this in here and also here this should shall be min data now executed and now I have both in one single plot and the nice thing here is because I imported it as a data frame it is during importing it as a data frame in, into pandas, it's automatically converted into these data frames. And I have two different files with two different formats. But by putting in data frame, it's already in the correct format. And I can plot these two files without further converting in a single plot. And um, as just the last example, what we can add, maybe now it, it's not starting at zero here on the axis. So I put in another comment, plot x limitations from 0 to x, maybe um, say 0 0.25. 
and the same for y and here I put in 0 up to say 65 run it and now the axes run from where exactly I want them and not 0 0.65 but 65 and then they run from where I want it and what I could do is I could access um, the EL1 get the maximum number and then put in here automatically and put in here the maximum and then the scaling will already always automatically be correct and this is a brief introduction to plotting with matplotlib and as i said you can have very high granularity of how a plot should look like um, make a couple of plots stitch them together and so so this is really very very neat um, and very common and popular powerful plotting tool and plotting library